the organizing principles of True North Alignment um, are kind of like the overall, the bird's eye view um, that True North Alignment comes from. So the actions of turning your ankles a certain way or outer shins in, um, or where to stretch your arms back, um, all comes from this kind of mission statement. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on here, and it's also just like an overall way of being, way of moving, way of expressing a pose. Um, it's just a little bit less specific than the cues of true alignment. So the first one is be intentional in creating the physical foundation of the pose and being up to something bigger than yourself. So that's simple <laughs> and layered. Yeah, just be intentional. It's like as you come into a shape, um, how are you placing your foot on the ground? How are you lifting up? Is it with breath? Um, and then being up to something bigger than yourself, like to me, really speaks to holding myself accountable to like what I actually know I can do in the pose. It means doing what the teacher is asking me to do. It means holding space for my neighbors. Um, it means be, really being in the practice knowing that there's something beyond just holding a shape. The second one is balanced action, stira and sukha. Stira speaks to effort, kind of like a power in your pose, and sukha speaks to ease. So yeah, you're balancing those. Um, the five pillars, put in and keep present drishti, your gaze, step one. Ujjayi, your breath, step two. Bandhas, um, Called locks, but it's really speaking more to stability in your body. Um, tapas, heat, expansion, discipline, and vinyasa flow. So, first, drishti, ujjayi, bandhas, tapas, and then flow. Just all these swirling around. And it's just as you move, do you notice what's missing? If your eyes are wandering, come back to drishti, then start over. Okay, total body integrity, pull in, press down, lift up to integrate. That's simple. Pull in, press down, lift up to integrate. That's sometimes easier to think about than both feet can stroke a clock. Lift the front of the pelvis, shoulder blood, you know, it's like pull in, press down, lift up. Your body will awaken in whatever you're doing. Create muscle of bone connection, pull in the center line and core. Total body expression, press, lift, move, and fully express out. Move out from center and core. Yeah, so first integrity, pulling in, and then expressing it out. So first there's a drawing in, and then you're able to take up more space from a space of stability. Great. 